Petty theft charge here in Florida is a scary thing. I mean, folks are going to jail on these charges, depending on the judge. Not going to jail for very long on a shoplifting, but even a slap on the wrist jail stint, it's pretty dreadful. And plus, a shoplifting charge is going to kill all future employment opportunities. So, I've got the bad news out of the way. These are the usual warnings and disclaimers, scary things we attorneys like to tell you. Now let's dig into what's involved in a shoplifting case. First, shoplifting cases involve video evidence. Walmart, for example, has at least four camera angles on each of their self-checkout lanes and their high crime areas like the makeup aisle or the jewelry areas have multiple angles too. We attorneys, we're gonna analyze this footage because we wanna see if it matches up to the claims of loss prevention. And our next consideration, you're really your next consideration on a theft case is the massive amount of court dates you're gonna have. Cause you're gonna have, you're gonna have an arraignment to start out. Then you're gonna have a pretrial conference. You may have a docket sounding. You may have a status conference and more. The good news is, I mean, most of the time you won't need to attend these court dates so long as you hire an attorney. We attorneys, basically waive these dates for you. And I think that's worth the price of admission right there. But it's my humble opinion. Now, even though an attorney can get you out of your court dates, you may still have to do some of the classes and some community service to get this case dropped or resolved. And that's fine. I want to tell you the most common class you'll need to complete is a shop is a shoplifting anti-theft class or sometimes called the impulse control class. This shoplifting class is four hours long, and for four hours, they beat into your head uh, that it's wrong to steal. So it's kind of boring. But the most important step on a shoplifting case, believe it or not, is really the end part because you've got to seal or expunge this record so no one can see it when you're all done. Because attorneys will get this thing dismissed for you, and you'll think it's over, but the record will still be there. So you got to get it erased. It's worth it. Anyway. My name is John Guidry, and if you're facing a petty theft or shoplifting here in Orange County, Seminole, or Osceola County, give me a call. Let's see if we can help you out. Thanks for watching, and take care.